from Shanti. Today is your 154th day of your godly blessing. And before we go ahead in this godly blessing, there's a link which is going to appear right above here. And you can click on that and find out the different yoga asanas and even the exercises which you, you can do it on the chair and find out what diet is good for your sleep and what is the right way of eating and what is the right way of sleeping. That's all up here. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead with the today's blessing. In today's blessing, Baba is trying to tell us that if we lose our connection with God the Father, then automatically the problems, they start becoming bigger and bigger in our life. And if we start looking for solutions in people and things in our old sanskars, our old habits, then we get more and more entangled. And to get back that connection with God becomes much more difficult. So God says that you check the connection just like in a, in a house also. If you have at a home any loose connection, a loose wiring, we generally we put the fault or we put the blame onto that appliance, onto that bulb or onto that electrical equipment. Then God says that maybe the connection is loose. Check that. Similarly over here, God wants us to check the connection between him and us between the supreme soul and the soul over here if this is loose then we start blaming people we start blaming relationships we start blaming our complete destiny or we start blaming ourselves too or our weaknesses too so god says that this is a sign of loose connection when you're putting the blame out when you're blaming things when you're blaming surroundings when you're blaming people that means your connection with god is loose that's where all the powers are being lost by you so let's go ahead let's understand today's blessing <music> says may you put your loose connection right and instead of being confused that is a state of confusion when we are blaming others or blaming the self or the blaming of the surroundings become free from problems so let's go into details Baba says the main reason for all problems is having a loose connection even in the equipment's case the equipment won't function because of the loose connection we might be blaming the manufacturer we might be blaming the one who has come and installed it but maybe it's just a loose connection. And once you try to put the connection through, it might spark a little bit. That is the trouble in putting the connection. Here too, if we are totally blaming people, if we are into blaming surroundings, blaming situations, it takes time to get back into the mode of getting connected to God sometimes. We'll explore that. But that is a sparking time. The spark which leads to the connection. So this is the spark which needs to get connected to the supreme spark, the light. So let's understand that. Simply put the connection right. Simply put the connection right and all the powers will circle around you. You put the line connection right. The electric light comes in, the power comes in, the electricity comes in. Here too, once you have the connection with God put right, Automatically the powers. What powers are we talking about? The link is given in the description. You can check that powers, the eight powers, but I'll let you know. The power to tolerate a person or a situation or a thing. The power to be detached from things and people and not have any expectations or desires or wants from people and have every desire with God. The power to accept situations, any dire straits which come in your life, you are able to accept them because you are connected to God and you are dependent only on God the Father for everything and not on people, not on situations, not on things. So God says, if your connection is loose, then automatically you won't be able to discern what is right, what is wrong. You won't be able to make the decisions. It will take a lot of time to make the right decisions because you will be fluctuating between desires, keeping that person with you, desires of wanting those things, manipulating things so that you benefit more than other people and many more since we end up doing and our connection gets further lost or further gone away. So God says, try to be in connection with me and then all your other connections will become okay. Whether it's your relationships, whether it's your comfort, whether it's your happiness, everything will be set right. Don't try to set the equipment right. Don't try to blame God for it. Don't try to blame yourself for it. Don't try to blame people, things, situations for it. That is again lose connection. Make your connection right by connecting to God the Father. Then the inner light will open up. The inner eye will open up. And you will be able to see things clearly without having to doubt anything. So then God says, if it takes one or two minutes 
to make the connection that means you are not able to meditate on god you are not able to connect because you have drifted so far away into blaming others you have drifted so far away into blaming the situations and people around you or your own family members or anybody in your in your workspace that you are not able to get the frequency right to connect to god it's okay it might take 2 minutes 3 minutes it might take an hour to the god says don't get disheartened do not lose courage and become confused that maybe i'm not the right person maybe meditation is not meant for me maybe god doesn't love me maybe i have done so much of sin that you know my connection with god it's not possible to connect in this life people make a lot of demeaning or uh, excuses i would say or any form of demeaning thoughts they create just to make sure that they feel misery in that time god says you're beyond all that don't worry even if it takes couple of minutes or maybe some hours sometimes people even take days to get connected to god because they've gone into so much of negativity or so much of sin or into depression that it becomes difficult and it takes days for people to get connected to god baba says god says but keep on going ahead don't be confused because that's the last resort and the first resort not the people not the things you won't be able to change your situation by changing people changing things changing surroundings because you have become tired doing that so god says now leave doing all those things get connected to me and automatically all the powers and all the virtues will come back to you and you'll be able to decide and act and think in the right manner to make that situation right so let's go ahead further baba says do not lose courage and become confused do not shake the foundation of faith faith in god people have faith in people people have faith in things people have faith in their government people have faith in their religion people have faith in their family the god says all that is okay but if you are dependent only on them then they are all variables who can be changed change who doesn't change ever for you who doesn't judge you is only the supreme being so meditate on him learn the meditation process of connection with god and then everything around you will be okay or you'll have the power to accept everything around you and still be laughing and smiling all the time that's a choice which god gives us so baba says do not shake the foundation of faith i am baba's and baba is mine baba means father god the father so god is mine and i the soul belong to the god this body cannot belong to god only i the soul you the soul can belong to god so god says make your foundation strong on this basis and you will become free from problems so that's the only method god is a notion of values virtues powers when we connect to him our uh, inner eye opens up we find the right solutions to problems but if we try to connect to people finances through people or things they'll give us many confusing answers and the more we get confused the more wrong decisions and sins increase and the confusion increases and the connection is lost so first leave everything aside connect to god focus on that and then the rest can be taken care of automatically i leave you with this beautiful vardhan have a blessed day stay safe stay home om shanti mm-hmm.